A controversial new startup company was recently charging $8,000 to fill your veins with the blood of young people. Whoa. Founder and CEO, Whoa. Dr. Jesse Carmazin, who claims it will give you superhuman powers, has recently ceased patient treatment. <laughs> Child's blood? Superhuman powers? Poggies? Oh, it's been a while. It's been a while since we've gone on this rap. Oh, I haven't uh, haven't hung out with uh, Daddy. Haven't hung out with Daddy in quite some time, mostly because he's a horrifying transphobe. But uh, there's some new developments, especially in the world of Adrenochrome. All right, we have to we have to study Adrenochrome in its many ways and its its varieties. Last month, the popular internationally syndicated program, The Dr. Phil Show, delved program. into something that until recently hasn't even been on the pop culture radar, but is now one of the top trending issues in culture. The subject of adrenochrome. 21 years ago, when I was investigating the secretive Bohemian Grove elite cult in Northern California. Midsummer sets us free. <laughs> I became aware of adrenochrome in my research. I mean, let's let's be totally frank here. I I, I think he was just at a KKK rally. I, th I think he's like, okay, uh, how's it going here, brothers? You know, I'm just gonna pull up my phone here and uh, you know take a couple couple photos from the lads. Just just a handful of good old boys burning some crosses. All right, here we go. Wait, wait. Is, is, is this is this some kind of adrenochrome rally? What's going on here? Which I noted that Hunter S. Thompson had written about it in his book, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Two years ago, InfoWars investigative journalist Greg Reese did a five-minute detailed analysis of adrenochrome. Adrenochrome. Adrenochrome? Hmm. <laughs> Anyone who's even done a cursory review of history knows that human sacrifice and the eating of organs to have a physical effect or get high happened in every ancient culture in Africa, in Asia, in what is the Middle East today, Europe, Mesoamerica. Every culture during different periods degenerated and established priest class that would actually carry out the orderly human sacrifice of, quote, virgins and children. I was going to say, chef's kiss, this is Alex Jones classic. This is this is this is the Alex Jones I miss, you know, not not the whole transphobic Alex Jones, not the whole, you know, uh, basically ba uh, blaming uh, the parents of dead children. Uh, for being uh, crisis actors, stuff like that. The population's awakening to the grisly fact of adrenochrome is a red flag to the establishment that all of their satanic and dark occult practices are now being exposed. Mainstream media, the Democratic Party. Why was Pamela Anderson there? What, what did Pamela Anderson ever do? Make fun of anyone exposing giant child kidnapping rings that have been exposed. When the Associated Press came out two years ago and revealed thousands of Haitian children kidnapped by the UN, sex trafficked, and many of them murdered, the left again covered the story up and made jokes. Humanity is awakening to the secret priesthood that sees us as animals, as lower than animals in many cases, who see us as a commodity to be bought, sold, and traded. I want to believe that. So this is a, a really classic example because, uh, you know, Alex Jones has been doing this for a while. Tucker Carlson is getting in on this grift as well. Um, basically, it's a, we'll just say it's a form of populism. They're, they're identifying things which are true, right? There's certainly a capitalist class. There's a hierarchy and there are uh, the ruling class, those who have the majority of power, capital, if you will, uh, that exists. But the twist is it'll often be uh, a little anti-Semitism peppered on top of it. Just, just a little bit of, little bit of uh, anti-Semitic uh, crack sprinkled on the entire ordeal, and, and that's where you get uh, the globalists, you know, and all the global elite, and we have the Illuminati uh, on top of that, and, you know, and of course there's the, the George Soros. We have to watch out for that uh, as well. That Doctor Phil is a good man on the subject of adrenochrome and ritual Satanism and Black Sabbaths that are part of the historical record. I would be more than happy to come on Doctor Phil's show anytime he'd like and or to give him information, other guests that can give him the facts and the reality. Because this subject isn't going away, it's just getting bigger as humanity awakens.
Here is part of the Dr. Phil segment and then Greg Reese's original from two years ago. My investigation has revealed that this is all linked to a ritual. I believe somebody in an occult was drugging my daughter Jessie for a year before she went missing. I believe that she was killed June 20th, 2016 because it was a full moon and the summer solstice at the same time and then the next day was Lilith. Lilith is a holiday that the occult does celebrate and it requires a human sacrifice. I had a person say to me that if I looked around at the environment and looked at the seasons, I would see a pattern. And as I looked and did more research, realized that it was very specific and that people went missing on very specific days throughout the whole year. My mom thinks everything's connected to other missing persons cases. What? Like it's a big web. A lot of the times she'll say what? things like, I know I sound crazy, but it just started getting too out of control. I believe that Jesse was tortured for the drug adrenochrome. Adrenochrome? is a chemical that our body produces when we are extremely fearful or i mean yeah who doesn't like a fresh adrenaline gland just to chew on it's just strength that gives you vitality mm. and the people that killed jesse are harvesting that from other people and when you drink it it gives you euphoria and power my gang member who told me later that he had a video of her death he told me that jesse had been killed that her body had been put into a barrel and set on fire. The police do have a part of that video. I believe that the police are protecting her killer. Adrenochrome. Adrenochrome? Hmm. Adrenochrome first hit pop culture in 1971 when God. They got the Halloween soundtrack in the background. It's it's John Carpenter in the background. Gonzo journalist Hunter S. Thompson wrote about it in his book, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. He wrote that his lawyer... Oh, it's close. It's close. It's basically, I think it's a, a copyright cleared version. Oscar Acosta was defending a Satanist who was charged with molesting a child. The Satanist client paid his lawyer with adrenochrome and claimed the only source was the adrenaline glands from a living human body. If you search Google for adrenochrome, the Google-supported result is from the conspiracy wiki, which suggests that it is all merely fantasy. What? But just to the right... Oh shit, case closed. Right, ...you will find that adrenochrome is real. According to scientific research, Adrenochrome is formed by the oxidation of its precursor, adrenaline. Adrenaline is the active hormone from the adrenal medulla, otherwise known as epinephrine. EpiPens are auto-injectors that contain synthetic adrenaline. Developed by the U.S. military to protect soldiers in the event of chemical warfare, my God. EpiPens are used to treat extreme allergic reactions. How, how are they tying this all together? EpiPens? Now EpiPens are a part of it? Like, when to use an epiphendrin injection when you have persistent diarrhea? They're, they're going to tie that into it too. Well, as your ass exploding, yeah, then you're probably going to need a fresh adrenaline shot. And that's how the globalists get you. You know, all these cannibalistic, liberal, glutophile, pedophiles. Uh, they all have diarrhea. They're all just spewing this juice. And then every single one of them needs a little fresh adrenaline to cure it. We're through the looking glass here, people. EpiPens only have a shelf life of about 18 months. According to the manufacturer, after 18 months, the oxidation process begins and the EpiPens are turned into adrenochrome. Interestingly, both companies that manufacture the EpiPen, Mylon and Kaleo, are connected to the Clinton Foundation. Ambrosia, a controversial new startup company was recently charging $8,000 to fill your veins with the blood of young people. Whoa. Founder and CEO, Whoa. Dr. Jesse Carmazin, who claims it will give you superhuman powers, has recently ceased patient treatment. <laughs> Child's blood? Superhuman powers? Poggies? ...due to a recent FDA warning. 
In Greek mythology, ambrosia means immortality and was the food of the gods that gave longevity or immortality to whoever consumed it. It is believed by many researchers to represent the blood of the young. How much do y'all want to bet that this whole thing is going to parlay into an InfoWars commercial? Like, I, I can already see it. They're going to have some product that will prevent you from having your adrenaline gland stolen, or something to that effect. The cosmetic industry has been using aborted fetal tissues in various oh, anti-aging skincare products. The taboo culture of consuming the young seems to go back through all of human history. The taboo culture of consuming the young. Yes, yes. I mean, there was a time when uh, we as a society, we decided that uh, no more. We'll stop, uh, we'll stop eating babies. And then uh, everything's been okay since. So now it's taboo. But now, it seems to be coming out into the open. Democrats are pushing for full-term abortions. Um, the infant would be delivered. Uh, the infant would be kept comfortable. Uh, the infant would be resuscitated if, if that's what the uh, mother and the family desired. And then a discussion would ensue between the physicians and the mothers. How far is this going to go before humanity has enough? For NewsWars.com, this is Greg Reese. Oh, man. Stranger Things. Oh, it's so apropos. Stranger InfoWars thing. Tomorrow's news today. <laughs> the time for inaction is over. The globalists are making yeah, their move against every free country on Earth. The they want us dependent. Us. I they called it. I called they it. Want us desperate. Thanks, Dr. Gamble. The biggest thing they want is people to not have high quality storable food and high quality water filtration because then they can control you in any crisis. They also want you disarmed. InfoWars does not have the guns, but you certainly need those and the training. But we have the best storable food at the lowest price with the highest quality you're going to find. And we have the best water. I knew it. I knew it. Prepper buckets. Here they come. Prepper buckets. Alex Jones prepper buckets. Yes. 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 Oh, I'm here for these. Oh, I'm here for these. Give me all those calories. Give me that sweet prepper bucket. Nice. Oh, I, I want his face on the front. I, I want to spell. I want like. I want to draw his face out of macaroni. I, I want to make art. All right. I want to make Alex Jones macaroni art. I, I want to make his face out of pancake batter. Come on. You can go to InfoWarsStore.com and get it. But if you go to PrepareWithAlex.com, you will find specials that are the lowest price ever offered on these high quality water filtration, also air filtration, but also storable food. It's only running for wow. six days. Guys, Everything you want. We ended the special a few days ago. We, we have this new kind of pancake batter that also filters water and also clarifies your air. And, you know, it's amazing. And now with 20% less adrenochrome than before, but 40% more soy. Upset, but now they brought the special back for six days. Prepare with Alex.com. With all the crazy stuff happening right now, get prepared today. Get your storable food. It's ready to ship. Prepare with Alex.com. Exclusive personal message from Alex Jones to InfoWars newsletter subscribers. All right, this one comes straight from the horse's teat. I'm Alex Jones, and this is the Info War. I don't understand how he uh, has any vocal cords left. After impersonating Alex Jones for, uh, what has this been, like 20 minutes? Like, my voice is completely shattered. I, I don't know how he speaks like that every day. Like, what's he going to sound like when he's, if he lives to, like, be 50? Welcome <laughs> We have some new, some new, new tropics for you. You're going to enjoy the bit. It's been said that a pitcher can tell a thousand words. In this exclusive message to subscribers to the InfoWars free newsletter at InfoWars.com forward slash newsletter, I'm going to break down something that says really a million words or a billion words and tells the story of the last four years ago. It all starts with Madam President. This was published, hundreds of thousands of them, and ready inside warehouses the week before the election. It was already on store shelves and airport shelves all over the United States the day after the election. It was Is this fucking home? Like, is, is this what you see when you walk down the hallways? This monstrous Trump banner? 
and then <laughs> the Newsweek Madam President <laughs> issue. And, and w what's this point going to be here? Like, yeah, she was assumed to win. That's that's probably why they printed it. Is is there going to be some conspiracy theory? Oh, well, yeah, of course. <laughs> Who am I talking about here? <laughs> Party in trucks being shipped out. That's how sure the establishment was of their election fraud, of their scams, of their lies in the New York Times polls saying 97% chance she would win. And so everything since then has been about the powerful globalist combine, the chi -coms, Hollywood, the entire criminal consortium behind her that is so butthurt that a popular consortium. president, Donald John Trump, got in. Whether you love Trump or hate him, he definitely upset these people. So they say he's an idiot, and they say he's a moron, and they say he's incompetent. Well, this incompetent defeated all of you. And the American people beat you. And the people of Brazil beat you. And the people of England and Europe are waking up to the New World Order. And, and in Asia and Africa. Wait, wait. They, they voted in the American election? Oh, no, he's referencing Jair Bolsonaro. Yeah. Yeah, J Jair Bolsonaro didn't didn't win a democratic election. He he jailed he jailed his political opponent. That's that's how that happened. And now he's he's catapulting the entire scenario in order in order to burn down what's little left of the rainforest. That's that's what's happening there. And now Bill Gates, who's super deep states, had to launch this whole pandemic. Wait, Bill Gates is is a super deep state. What? Scamdemic. Martial law demic. Bill, Bill Gates planned the pandemic? Wait, is Bill Gates Chinese? A medical tyranny demic to crack down and take full control. That's their counter strike in their own admissions. They're using this to lower the carbon front footprint and take full control. And so it's you, the subscribers of this newsletter, out of the millions and millions of listeners we have that actually cared to go to Infowars.com forward slash newsletter and sign up for the free newsletter because in the future with all this censorship people now see it they're now blocking private messenger apps that facebook has they're now blocking them on, on apple and google and it, it, it's coming down into what you can say and do even over the phone so that's why Infowars, in case they're able to shut us down in the future needs to have everybody that's a listener and everybody that's an activist to be signed up so we can send you exclusive videos like this but also so you can get exclusive deals, the very best deals on products that we offer. You get a great product and that funds us, keeps us on the air. Literally going back to the old subscription system where we directly are forced to email you and that's how you get info to then share it and spread it. But this is why they're so angry because she was supposed to be Madam President Hillary Clinton's historic journey to the White House November 8th, 2016, but it didn't happen. Instead, this happened, ladies and gentlemen. Now let's go back. There's another thing I have hanging on the wall. Look at this. Stop the WTO, 1999. Back when the liberals were against global government. Back when liberals were against the WTO. Back when I didn't call myself a conservative or a liberal because I supported a lot of the mainline left's move to block world government and block these corporations taking total corporate control. But through Soros and others, they bought up the left Back then, it was the police attacking peaceful protesters. And the thing I'm wondering with uh, with Mr. Jones, uh, paging Dr. Jones, is like, who who does he think is responsible for for neoliberalism being a prevailing force globally right now? Uh, who do you think is responsible for corporations having monstrously more control and power than they did before? It, it wasn't the left. Present a chance, Alex Haynes winks to the HRC. Oh, uh, 100%. Oh, there's it's it's within a 0.01 percent uh, margin of error. Did it because Antifa was housed by the government and by Delta Force under under Bill Clinton. This this all came out in the Seattle Post Intelligencer, and that they had Antifa break things for three days and attack police. So then the police, under orders of Clinton, were able to then attack peaceful protesters and shut down the actual demonstrations. So that's how this whole thing works. And so everything hanging on the walls here in my studio, some of this you're seeing for the first time, has a story behind it. Let's look at some of this. Gardening, victory over tyranny, getting back to the earth yourself, the, the Texas Sesquic Centennial, understanding our, 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 our roots, and, and which lead back to the Magna Carta. This is our mascot, Chief Vader. A great listener, I think it was in North Dakota, sent me this like 10 years ago. We're very thankful to them. We've got a little Darth Vader with the big chief here, kind of a cool mascot here with the old Zenith radio system. 
Holy shit. Okay, uh, I'm just going to quickly explain this to people who don't understand why it's offensive when uh, people at EDM concerts, for example, uh, wear this kind of stuff. Uh, it, it's stolen valor. It's, it's like wearing a military uniform and, and running around in it and saying like yes i i am a big chief now uh yeah it's it's stolen valor like these these are not these are tribal ceremonies uh, sorry ceremonial garb you're, you're not allowed to wear it 70 percent off with promo code eight the number eight just one digit eight eight you put that in at checkout with eight pack power stack while supplies last it's sell, sell out today eight man. eight eight eight, eight. Supply, like the current sell rates and you get <laughs> it's really invoking the whole Herman Cain, eh? Nine, 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 nine. Twenty percent off on eight pack power stack. It's amazing. We're gonna try to reformulate it with something in the future, but it's just, amazing. It's just supply chain breakdowns. Having something with thirteen different formulas in it. All these little packets for the AM and the PM. I mean, it just. This is one I've been actually eating some out of, but this is the highest quality too, because these you know these systems are popular. People like to have it all in an AM and a PM. This one is the highest quality you're going to find out there, and it's selling out in the next 48 hours. This just came in, but despite that, I'm offering it at 60% off. The discount's way lower than that for the regular folks on the site. With the Is this whole th the rest of this just him showing products? That, that it is. Time. But afterwards, Washington right there. We love him. Evil extremist. And then look at that. you got David Knight in there five days a week. Five Evil extremist. <laughs> just more pills is it, do, they, do they put the pills by the monitors is it yeah well you know while you're working just in case you need a little boost we, we want every single one of our infowar staff to be constantly be jacked up on as many pills and bottles and files as possible and look at the screw in here engineers and the producers and the people switching the clips and, 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 and every single one of them is on brain force plus and you can tell by their swollen craniums they've got such a charlie kirk effect that's what we usually call it uh, we call it charlie kirk syndrome once your brain swells to a certain size then you're then you're ready to do your job hey we want to mutual aid you to get some eyeballs on your work so if you have a leftist youtube channel or twitch stream or something you want us to advertise just send us a 20 to 30 second ad using the forms at wearesurfs.com we'll do our best to help you out and please submit once per channel. To our God, I'm Rath. We pray at your altar of greatness. To our monarch, Tom Spiker, you are the light that guides our path. To our lords, Jimothy K. Meeblebeeps Jr., Ryan Lubin, Trevor R., Jeffrey Lamb, Poppy Nelson, Stephen, Hans Josephin, Nine Tails Cosmic Fox, we bow meekly for your pleasure. To our knights of the round table, Jay Fraser Cartwright, Thomas Brereton, Ali Menthol, Jimmy Big Nuts, Good Poon Hates Cops, That's Solid Poon Then, Violent Orchard, Sophie Baby, Political Puppy, Andreas Chiringoito, Goofus Lankius, Zach Christensen, Nicholas Marks, Yopi, Josh Mickelson, Dr. Zayas, Dylan Byth, Todd Buckingham, and Todd Lajeunesse, we salute you. 